Hi, if you happen to use a Tascam sound recorder just as I have in here and streaming is your thing, there is a way you can go ahead to use your sound recorder to serve as an audio input device during your streaming. So I'm going to go ahead to show you how to go about that. To get started, there are a few things that you need. First, of course, you need a sound recorder. That should be a Tascam one. Um, whatever model is fine. And then you also need a microphone. So I have a microphone in here, which is a self powered microphone. And then you need a micro USB as well, which I'm going to connect to the sound recorder. Of course, you need a computer to help you with the process. So to get started, you have to simply connect your micro USB to the sound recorder and then go ahead to connect it to your PC, which is going to serve as your um, power source. Let me just uh, connect this. And then I'm going to go ahead to connect the um, microphone. So I'm going to go ahead to connect the microphone to um, the port, any of the ports using the right connection. So there are a couple of videos I already have that explains a lot more about going about the setup. And then since my microphone is a self-powered one, I go ahead to turn it on. And then I should have my lapel properly, you know, connected and should be working. So what I'm going to do next is to go ahead to power up my sound recorder. That is the Tascam sound recorder. So I'm going to power it up. And then after some few seconds, it is going to ask me um, to set a date. So I'm going to go ahead to set a date and um, let me set the month, right? And then go ahead to set the day so this uh, today's date is 16th as I rec i'm recording this video and then i have three options now these options are going to be presented based on the model that you have so there's bus power which allows you to just use whatever external device to serve as sort of source of power for the sound recorder the next one is um, sd card reader so you're just going to be able to have access to the files on the um, sound recorder and then the last option, which is what we are interested in, is the um, audio IF. So I'm going to go ahead to select that. Now, once you select that, um, there are a couple of options as well. So it says connect to. So when you come here, you can choose between either PC or iOS. So if it's an iOS device, you can go ahead to select that. If it's a PC um, or a Mac, you can go ahead to select that. So in my case, I'm using a PC. I'll leave it on that. And then the next one is sample. So this is like more or less like the audio quality that you are looking at. So I don't have anything to do there. And then the last option, which is connect, I'll go ahead to execute and then hit on enter. So this is going to directly take me to um, be able to use my sound recorder to serve as an audio input device for my PC. It's interesting. So once I do that, then I should have access to it on my PC. But before I get into my PC, let me show you some few more things. If you hit on quick, there are a couple of options that you are presented with. So we have level mode that determines um, the level of your, maybe your soundtracks. Um, so you have manual limiter, peak reduction as well as auto, depending on what you may want. You go ahead to um, select that. There's low cut and then there's microphone that is uh, left to right swap or that's if you want to swap, um, swap from left to right to right to left. You can go ahead to select that from here. And then also when you hit on menu, um, the very important part is source, which allows you to use an external microphone with it. So when you come to the right hand side of source, there are a couple of options. So you use the top and um, down button to switch between the options. So if you hit on down, there's int mono. Int mono means internal microphones in mono mode. Int stereo, that is internal microphone in stereo mode. And then an option which has external int. So that is when you may be using an external microphone, which I'm sure should be your case. And then once you're done with that, you come to the bottom, there's low cut, and then there's effect. Now, effect allows you to specify the condition or the um, environment you may be recording from. So when you come there, there's presets that allows you to, let me just go ahead. There's presets that allows you to specify where you may be um, having your streaming. So it could be from a studio, um, it could be from a room, it could be from a hall, and um, so on. You also have the option to select um, the level of audio that is sounds that you may be using for your streaming, as well as you also have the option to select that is the source here, being it an external microphone or not. So that is basically how to go about it. Another way, depending on the model of um, sound recorder you may be using, um, let me just show you how to go about that. So I'll simply turn off the sound recorder and then go ahead to power it up again. So 
once I, I power it up um, this time around with the three options that I'm going to be greeted with I'll go ahead to select bass power so I just need power from my PC to this particular sound recorder so when I um, I get to this particular section I'm doing this because of some models of sound recorders it doesn't give you those three options so I just go ahead to hit on menu and then I'll come to the bottom and go to USB settings so or USB section I'll go ahead to select that and then I have two options I have uh, whether I want to use my um, sound recorder as a, a card, an SD card reader or the audio IF. So I'll just go ahead to select audio IF and then I'll go ahead to um, come to connect, execute and I should be good to go. Now once you do this, automatically it um, connects to your PC as an audio input device. So this is where I'll open my um, OBS application on PC and then I should be able to see or have access to my audio um, let me just get OBS here so um, all right so OBS is opened now this is my actually setup default setup that I have in here I don't want to mess with anything so under normal circumstance I should create a new profile so let me just say test and then click on OK so let me just um, cancel this I don't want to do that now and then what I'll be doing next is to come to where I have my sources. This is where I'm going to select my Tascam sound recorder as my audio input um, source. So let me just delete these ones here. And then I'll go ahead and hit on the plus icon here. So once I hit on the plus icon, I go ahead to select audio input capture. And then maybe I give it a name, say Tascam. And then I go ahead to click on OK. So this is where I get to select the device that I want to use. So if you take a very good um, look here, you notice that I have my Tascam option available here. So I just go ahead to select that, click on OK, then I am good to go. So this time around, I have my sound recorder 7 as my audio input device for my OBS application. Now this is also going to work on whichever application you may be using for your streaming. And if you look at the track, you notice that as I speak, so if I stop speaking, it goes back. And then as I speak, you know, you notice that the tracks are, um, the track is actually uh, moving. So that is basically how to go about using your Tascam sound recorder as your audio input device for your streaming. So if you are using OBS application, then this is a simple way to go about. If you are using other streaming applications, you can easily go about the same process and have it done. Now, one important thing you need to know is that if you are using um, the audio IF um, or you're in the audio IF mode, you can't record. So we need to know that. So I can try recording, but it's not going to record because I'm now using an external device to control uh, or to be able to capture audio from my sound recorder. So it is very important to record your streaming if you want to have access to the audio or maybe whatever um, you may be streaming so that is basically just about it for this tutorial in case you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet kindly go ahead and hit on the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime i have a new video you get to see it so my name is Eshma Lamte. thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one